So you can have multiple stores under one account. I think you can have up to 20 stores under one account. And then I'm just gonna show you over on my screen how to open a new shop. So you would go into the account thing, you, you would hit my stores, and then you have this option button here to open a new store. So you can just click on that, and then it's gonna take you through that whole process of naming your store and all that stuff that we went over in the how to open your first shop video quite a while ago. So you can have, yeah, I think it's up to 20 stores, but I couldn't tell you. And then if you choose to have a separate account, like for example, this is a completely separate account to my personal account for Zazzle, you can have more than one account. You just have to have it under a different email address and you can have the same payment information though. Like you can use your, your tax identification number or whatever your tax ID number, um, whatever that's called in your country in Canada, it's your SIN, your social insurance number. So you can use that same number on multiple accounts. But I don't know why you would want multiple accounts. So I have it because this is like, this account here is to show you guys. Otherwise, the only other reason I could think of having multiple accounts is if you want to keep it like it's under two different businesses or something like that. Like one is maybe your account and then one is an account that you do with a friend or something like that. That would be maybe one reason that you would have multiple accounts. To sum that up is you can have multiple shops under one account and that's all going to go under the same email address and same banking information. And then if you want to create another account, so like a completely separate account where you'd have to log out and log back into, that's allowed, but you're going to have to do that under different email addresses, but the payment information can be the same.